Hello there, fellow humans, and welcome to F1 2012. And this one is, well, funny, because I'm going to drive as Pastor Maldonado in Barcelona. And you all know what happened back then, but this time, we're in an alternate universe. Not Hamilton got set back to last, Maldonado did. So, now let's try to win, or something of that sort. And as always, don't forget, like, subscribe, if you want to see more, even if you want to see more of this game as well. So now, let's have a look, obviously, into the first corner, straight back a lot of break, outbreak them, and get past. And now into this very fast section, get past a couple of other very slow cars, and Senna. So, oh, look at that speed right here that we can get through. And I haven't crashed into anyone yet, which is very sad. And now, almost crashed into Grosjean, but I did avoid it. This is not Belgium. And now up to P7 already within a couple of corners, pretty much within one sector up to P7. Now, I tried to first of all record this at the time, but the, the audio was dead. So I couldn't do that. Also, I had to drive with keyboard because it wouldn't recognize the wheel. So that was funny. Um, and uh, it's, I think it took about four to five laps of testing to get decent with it. So this is the result here, I guess. And uh, I, I'm still really horrible with it, as you'll be able to see at this moment. Now, P6 after the first lap. That is still pretty good. And now, one thing that is consistent from 10 years ago to now is that Mercedes is essentially a midfield team. Which, nice. But now, we got Schumacher behind me. We got Rosberg ahead. And now I'm going to use the curves of this, of this thing, which is the predecessor of ERS to just blast straight past them or at least try to do that and obviously outbreak them now this is the the medium preset obviously not the not the best of drivers here um, but i just wanted to, to have some fun um so i did it because why not i'm driving on a keyboard so we got past rosberg now and now it is alonso in fourth which is not too bad and look at that six seconds already up on the pace and we're gonna dummy him to the inside, go to the outside. Obviously, the bots aren't that smart, but we'll do it anyway. And now up into P4, and now Vettel is between me and the podium, which is nice. And now I kind of screw up a little bit here. I go too wide. That's obviously because the problem with keyboard is you can either go, or you don't go. That's very, very bad. And obviously, with the, with the brake pedal, you can actually apply different forces of brake. Here, you either brake or you don't. Uh, Alonso tried to come back at me, which is very nice. He tried, but he had no chance on the brakes. So this is where basically the bots lose out the most, which is not too bad. And now we're going to do this absolutely horrible chicane again. Why don't they just remove it? Like, just, I don't know, just, just make it better. This chicane's absolutely horrible, and it kind of ruins the flow of the race. But um, anyway, now obviously, we're now behind Vettel. We got a slipstream, and we got the colors right here, and now it is time to try to get past him and around the outside again, which is relatively easier, and also fastest lap for Maldonado. Uh, you don't see that a lot of times, because, I mean, most of the time he was crashing. I haven't crashed into anyone yet, so this is not true Maldonado style yet, um, but we'll see whether we can, we can do that later. And, um, obviously, what you want to do here, if you're driving on keyboard, it's, I think more of a you have to press it a lot rather than like consistently going at it you sort of stomp onto it and get off it again uh, to get a like more smooth experience might sound a bit weird but that's how it how i feel at least with driving for a couple of laps on keyboard so to those of you that drive on keyboard well hats off to you and uh, i still can't drive this corner though so now i'm gonna fall back again and Vettel is gonna come at me but obviously because the bots are very bad at braking I will be able to even fight Weber here, but not quite. He stays in front. Don't want to quite shoot him off the road. However, now we got the inside line here. And obviously on the brakes, we're better than the bot. And then we go through the inside. And that is absolutely beautiful. And that, that leaves me in P2 right behind Hamilton on lap three. That is pretty fast, isn't it? And I was stuck behind Hamilton here, which is obviously not great. Um, about two seconds behind him, 1.3 here. Um, that is unfortunate. However, obviously, we made it from 24th to 2nd, which is like Vettel Germany 2019 kind of stuff. So, that is very cool. And uh, now, it is about not making any mistakes 
and catching up with Hamilton and already making a mistake here of absolutely butchering the line to this corner, which is obviously not great. However, in this case, it's just on the brakes, these bots are not good. Now, one thing I did notice about this game is that the tires look a lot better than they do in F1 2021. Like, for example, if you go on the grass, your tires actually get dirty and there's gonna get a lot of dirt on it. In F1 2021, eh, not really the case from what I've seen so far with the game. So that's not great. Maybe F1 2022 is gonna do that better, but I'm gonna play that. So let's see how that's gonna go. And uh, obviously now still behind Hamilton, 1.7 seconds behind, just lost quite a lot of time there. And uh, that is not great, obviously, because now we're going into the third sector and this is already lap four and there's only one lap left to be able to actually do something about it. Now I could have done a longer race and maybe cranked up the AI a bit, but you know, it's, I'm playing on keyboard. I don't want to ruin my fingers that much. So now, I might get DRS here down the straight, which is very nice. Uh, now, obviously, DRS doesn't open very far. However, it does work. And one problem that this game has is you can't go faster than 305 kilometers an hour. You just can't. So if you max out at that, and there's the Maldonado moment, by the way, this is what we call knocking, right? If you're trying to overtake someone, then you simply, like, bump into them slightly, because that way you can announce themselves very friendly uh, that you're about to overtake them, right? So, um, I, I don't recommend doing this in online races, but, you know, if you want to announce to a bot that you're going to overtake them, then it might be a, a gesture of friendliness that you're go that you knock and be like, hey, I'm here, I want to overtake you. And that's exactly what I'm trying here as well. I'm going to try go past Hamilton. Not quite, though. I'm going to go out of the outside here, though. However, obviously... I go deeper, don't have the speed, and Hamilton does get past again, so he's still ahead of me, and there is only, like, half a lap left. And I obviously completely screw up this corner, as I pretty much do every lap, which is not great. But now, I am fully on the brakes here, and I can go pretty much around the outside here. Not quite, though, because he still has the corner, so I have to slow down again. And now it is only the chicane left, and here we go into the chicane. Can I break around it? Yes, I can. I go way too deep here, and now completely screw up the line. However, I'm leading with Pastor Maldonado on F1 2012, and it is the last corner, and now it is going on to the straight, and there we go. That is five laps of action, kind of, with this guy. With the only race, I think you've ever only scored points in three races, and one of them was a win, So, and it's also the last win for Williams, which is a bit sad, I think. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope it was a fun little thing. If you want me to do more, don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Goodbye.